Now the first thing I need to do is weigh the vehicle. And I don't exactly have a weigh station in my garage. So I'm going to do something that I actually read about on the internet. And I have no idea how this is going to turn out. What you want to do is you want to measure the total surface area underneath the tire. And multiply that by the air pressure in the tire. And this is supposed to give you an approximation of how much weight is on that one wheel. Now I think the most major problem with this is the car isn't really sitting on air. Instead, tires actually have steel, uh, steel structures inside them that kind of help the tire maintain its shape. So you're really sitting on these, these uh, steel lines. And so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to put as much air into the tire as it's rated for on the sidewall uh, before I try to take any of the other measurements like you know underneath or anything like that. Uh, the idea is it'll be sitting more on air than on these steel belts. So we'll see how that works. Also the article I was reading on the internet said that you can just do it for one wheel multiplied by four. But to get a more accurate result I'm going to actually do it for every wheel individually. So now I got all the tires pumped up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually bring the truck in. So uh, it'll be sitting pretty much right where I'm standing right now. And I'll measure it on a flat surface because the asphalt's a little, well, it's not very flat. Um, but something I forgot to mention is why I'm doing this in the first place. Why am I even taking the weight of the vehicle? Well, the batteries are going to be adding quite a bit of weight. Uh, I'm adding 24 batteries at 62 pounds a piece. So that alone is about 1,500 pounds. Plus I've got another 200 pound motor and uh, most of the other components are you know, not that heavy, but there's a lot of them. So uh, I want to see what the stock weight is just so I can get an idea of how much weight I'm adding. Now this isn't going to be exactly the, uh, the weight that's printed on the door um, because that's with like a full tank of gas and I think maybe a couple other things are a little different. But I just want to find out exactly what my vehicle's weight is. Because, you know, for instance, like I have a bed liner in the back that has a little bit of weight. Um, I might have a couple of, you know, like I've got some newer parts under the hood, maybe they're a little heavier. I, I don't know. So I just want to find out. I'm going to try to give you a decent view of what I'm doing here. But here's what I've got I've got two sheets of paper. I'm going to stick one right in there and take the other one and stick it right behind the wheel, which you really can't see. Maybe this will give you a little bit better view. So you've got two pieces of paper exactly parallel to each other. And uh, I'm just going to take this tape measure and uh, measure the distance between them in inches. It's almost exactly five and a half inches. So I'm just going to call it five and a half, and I'll measure it the other way. You can see this is 5.75 inches. So you're going to take 5.75 times 5.5 and multiply that by the tire pressure, which I know is 44 psi. So apparently there's 1,391.5 pounds above this one tire. Seems like a lot, but Maybe it's accurate. We'll see. So I won't forget. Then you're just going to do the same thing for the other three wheels. So according to my measurements, the vehicle weighs 4,707.1 pounds, which I think is actually uh, a gross overestimation. So even though the, uh, the weight experiment didn't really work out so well, there is something that I know I can do, which is measure the ride height. I'm just going to measure from the ground here up to here. And you can see it's pretty much exactly 31 inches. And the reason I'm taking this measurement is uh, I'm going to be adding a lot of weight in batteries, as I said. And if the vehicle sits any lower than it does now, I might need to do some suspension modifications. So I just want to compare ride heights to see where I'm at in terms of weight. Thank you. Oh, this is heavy. 
heavy, but it's got my lug nut thing. What are they even called? Sockets. Impact sockets. So now I can start disassembling the vehicle. Well, you don't 